Our decision to bring everyone back to campus this fall is, I believe, a welcome one for most of our Aggie community. We all know that UC Davis is at its best and our time here is most fulfilling when students, faculty, and staff work and interact side by side. UC and UC Davis leaders, faculty, and staff have spent many months in collaborative work preparing for a healthy return to campus. We believe that time is now for a few reasons. First, thanks to widespread vaccination and wearing of face coverings, the residents of our state and region are now less vulnerable to exposure, infection, and serious illness than they were last fall. Our university community is in even better shape with a vaccine mandate and a vaccination rate well over 95%. Second, UC Davis has developed a comprehensive set of protocols designed to keep our community healthy. We require that all of our students and employees who are on campus be fully vaccinated unless one is granted an exemption by the university that everyone be regularly tested for the virus and fill out a daily symptom survey, that everyone wears masks indoors under nearly all conditions, and we provide isolation and quarantine housing for our students when it is ordered by a campus or public health official. We also provide free vaccination, non-invasive saliva testing, and contact tracing services on campus and in our community, as well as a comprehensive source for COVID-related information on the Campus Ready website. And in the rare instance in which medical attention is needed, the UC Davis Medical Center is extremely well-equipped to give state-of-the-art care. All of our COVID-related responses, including our decision to return to campus this fall, are based on the most up-to-date and authoritative information and guidance from the CDC and FDA, state and local public health officials, and expert research in public health, epidemiology, and virology. In other words, the science tells us the steps we are taking can keep our campuses healthy. Moreover, our proactive campus strategies have been adopted across the city of Davis and Yolo County through Healthy Davis Together and now Healthy Yolo Together. These activities have resulted in UC Davis and our community having the lowest COVID infection rates in all of California. Having some level of concern about returning to campus is understandable and sensible. We underestimate COVID at our peril. At the same time, we need to keep in mind that many months of expert research and real world experience have clearly demonstrated that vaccination, asymptomatic testing and masking are highly effective countermeasures to this virus including the Delta variant. Indeed, infection among those who have been vaccinated is as low as expected and serious symptoms after infection are very unlikely. Please see our COVID modeling information to learn more about how rare transmission is with our vaccine and mask mandates. In addition to our vaccine and mask mandates, the next layer of protection comes from our asymptomatic testing program. For those who have a vaccine exemption, you will be required to take a COVID-19 test once every four days, as well as follow all masking requirements. For those who are fully vaccinated, you will be required to get tested every 14 days if you access campus on a weekly basis or prior to accessing campus facilities if you visit less often. The final point I want to stress is that truly, we are all in this together. If we want to maintain a healthy campus environment, each of us must do our part. 
if we are vigilant and observing all of our precautions, we will protect the health of both ourselves and others. I have the utmost faith and trust that we as Aggies can do this.